Today we're going to demonstrate our technique for low profile, complete knotless posterior labral repair using the new knotless fiber tacks. Here we're placing our portals using a dilator and 8.25 cannulas. We view from an anterior superior portal. I make this by inside out method as seen here. This technique is quite helpful as we have good viewing of the posterior labrum. You can see here we're in the lateral position and we're elevating off the posterior labral tear in this patient. This can be an excellent technique for some of our baseball players in which we don't want to have a large capsular plication to reduce the chances of and allowing these patients to return to throwing better and these low profile knotless anchors tend to have less complaints from patients in terms of occasional catching in the shoulder. We use a curved rasp here to irritate the bone to improve the healing potential. And here we're at the six o'clock position. We place this 15 degree knotless fiber tack. And we're able to do this without an accessory posterior portal given the angle of this suture. We grab the passing suture and as well as we use the passer, pass the suture through the labrum at this inferior portion. Once this is passed through, the key here in all these knotless, again as seen in my previous videos, is to remove the loop suture and the blue suture together as these can tangle and damage the locking function. You see here we're sequentially tightening. We've taken mostly a labral bite with a very small capsular bite. We sequentially tighten further with a knot pusher and then cut that area. We place the second one here again. It's, it can be challenging as the glenoid can be quite flat based off your angle of attack and these 15 degree guides prevent you from skiving. We're again going to pass with a similar passing device, pulling the suture and the PDS suture out the anterior cannula for working and passing it through. Again. As seen previously, we're grabbing two sutures to prevent tangles, and this will dramatically reduce any problems with these anchors. You can see we have excellent fixation already. Place one more anchor, again using the curved guide again. Here we'll use a crescent, grabbing and passing the suture, and then we're engaging the locking function and you can see the sequential tightening of the, of the capsule and labrum and the low profile nature of this repair that we've seen excellent results in our players. Mm -hmm.